Hello everyone, I'm Thomas Grip, co-founder and creative director of Frictional Games. One year ago, we released our latest critically acclaimed horror game, Soma. This Halloween, I thought I'd take a moment to talk about our company's developmental style. Frictional Games is only popular because we cater to Let's Players. All we've ever done is make horror games, but you may have noticed how we make them has changed since we basically invented Let's Plays. In the early years of Penumbra and Amnesia, our monsters were rarely seen and only used to create a sense of dread. But the way that we do horror is a bit different now. Take for example the idea of consciousness in Soma. You begin the game as a character going in through a routine brain scan but somehow you wake up a hundred years later in a robot body as an happening. Oh, what's happening? Oh God, not that way! Oh! Do you see what I mean? That was more of a distraction than anything else. I don't even remember what I was talking about. To put it simply, our games have become let's play fodder rather than, you know, being games. Ever since the Chinese room helped us make a machine for pigs, we haven't so much added gameplay as we've added cheap jump scares. If you take a look at the games that came out after Dark Descent, you'll notice that the monsters are either rarely there or don't mesh with the story at all. And the gameplay? Press forward, pick up that random physics object, avoid that random monster, and you'll eventually get to the end. Simple gameplay and a complicated story make it easy for any random Johnny with a webcam <laughs> to fork over 15 bucks and scream at our game for free views. We're getting free advertising because that random poop-shaped beast ran up and made Let's Player number 385 scream like a baby. As an aside, we don't spend most of our marketing budget with Maker Studios to not have their influencers play our game. PewDiePie is Swedish. We're in Sweden. One of the first games he played was Amnesia. No connection there. Now it may seem like we're watering down a genre that nobody is making games for, but at this point, anybody will do anything to keep their business afloat. If our sales figures match that of an electronic arts developer, our company would have kicked the bucket years ago. So thanks YouTube. Just because one of our games spawned one of your favorite genres of video, we get free advertisement for life. Just make sure to keep overreacting every time that monster grabs you. Hi! Oh, hey, hey, ho, ho, ho. Frictional Games, the most views per video money can buy. Well, except for Five Nights at Freddy's. But Scott already mentioned that he doesn't care about the story. At least with us, you get an intellectual look at how humanity preserves its consciousness in a post-apocalyptic environment where we have to go out into the stars to preserve ourselves through artificial- <laughs> As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to help the show out, you can contribute to our Patreon at patreon.com slash gamingwildlife. I have never played a frictional game in my life. I am a paid shill. You're an actor.